Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Road to Glory, the series where we go from nothing to something and aim to get a good team and win Division 1. That's basically the aim of everyone's Road to Glory and uh, using Foot Draft as well. As you can see there guys, the record is 17 wins, 0 draws and 1 loss and today we're going to be looking at building a fitness team. So if you guys are new to the channel as well, leave a subscription, leave a like rating as well, try and hit over 6,000 likes, subscribe if you are not subscribed and if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. So after the disappointment in the packs from the um, from the foot draft, we basically got nothing. We've got 9,700 coins. None of these players will sell. So I'm actually going to um, end up discarding the uh, non-rare players. Maybe try and uh, resell Townsend as he may sell for a little bit. So I'll list him up for that and uh, hopefully he does sell within the hour. The same with Kone as well. Try and get rid of him, but I don't think he'll sell also. Um but we're already up to 12, no, 11, nearly 11,000 uh, coins. Surprised these players haven't sold, including um, Mandanda. I was hoping to sell Mandanda. It's not actually worked. Because if we go and compare price, he's actually weirdly not selling, which is strange. So I'm going to list him up. At least he'll give us a bit of coins for the next episode anyway. But basically, you're going to see a la um, basically a road to glory. Uh, where we're going to build the fitness team live. So, um, something a bit different. I don't know which way I'm going to go about it. Already, we are up to um, 12,700 coins, 13,000, just off quick selling these crap packs. So, we might actually be on 15,000 coins, which is the risk we did take when it did come to the draft. So, yeah, we're up to 14,000 400 now. He's going to sell. He, we should be up to 14,900. 700. I'm really crap at math. So we're going to discard these. Hopefully we can get over the mark and uh, get there anyway. Maybe not. I'm actually surprised that CM to C, CDM card never sold. So I might actually keep that to myself. And we are back over 15,000 coins. So some are sold as well. Townsend's sold for 1.1. My God, I've, I've, I've uh, done some failed trading there, as you can see. Gudrado doesn't sell, I don't think, which is absolutely ridiculous. 700, oh, he might sell for 700, so we're listing for 750. Um, he might sell within the hour as well. Pantilamon never sold, and it's weird because these players have actually got bids on now, but they won't, didn't actually sell last time around, so I'm going to list him up for 750 as well, and uh, hopefully we get some insta sales on them. That um, position modifier does not sell, I don't think. 400, so 400 we can get for that one, so we'll list up for 450, and... Um, Hopefully that one goes instantly as well. But we're on 16,000 coins. So what we're going to do now, guys, is um, build the fitness team. Because this is a team, as it does look now, it's pretty knackered. Yeah, it's pretty knackered. But we have got a few squad fitnesses on there anyway. So what we're going to do is create a new squad. And it's going to be the second tier, actually. Actually, second tier was, was concept, wasn't it? Or was it? No, it wasn't. So... The way I'm going to go for a fitness team is for a playable team, guys, where we can actually get some um, get some wins with it as well when it needing to pop in, and who knows, it could turn into one of the best teams. Now, currently, we are not rocking a free at the back formation on um, on the main team, so that's what we're going to build for today. Now, if you guys have seen my non-rare squad builder, we're actually going to go and uh, start off with this guy, which is a Bundesliga... Um, centre forward, maybe might be able to get him at strike if not, I don't mind playing him at centre forward and um, he should be in concept squad so we've got Raphael there who is currently in, in form now as we do look um, I reckon we can get him for cheaper, but we're going to list him up, any, uh, try and get him anyway, so I think I might go for a cheap Brazilian team, which means our Brazilian's cheap though, and I don't mind there's one player I don't mind getting and that is um, Pato. Now, if we can get Pato into the team, that would be awesome. So, we're not really blessed with any right, decent right midders. Uh, well, we are, Costa and stuff, but very difficult to get into the team. So, we've got Lucas, who's going to be very expensive. Lewin or Ribeiro. Ribeiro's got three star. We've got Lewin. I'm going to go for Lewin because I know he is discard value at the moment. In the CDM position, we might struggle with this one. Fernando actually goes for little. And the same with Casemiro. I think I'm going to go with Fernando uh, Fernando in this one because he is a BPL and could help us in future teams. And uh, on the other hand side, we are going to go with Melo. Hopefully does sell for a little, uh, does not go for a lot. In the left midfield position, we are going to go with Bastos as he is pretty cheap um, and a non-rare as well. 
And in the striker position, we are going to go. And I'm going to aim to get Pato, but I'm going to see what we've got at the end of it to see if we can actually afford him. If not, we may shy away from that one. In the camp position, though, we should be able to get a cheap, decent player. And I think Kaká. I'm thinking Kaká might enter the team. Uh, if we can hopefully afford this. If not, it may be a two... Um, a two-step thing where we actually uh, don't finish it off till the next episode. So we've got Mauricio, who a lot of people do rave about. Oh, defence could be very, very difficult. If you have a look at the two CDMs, we've got B... Ah, damn it. It's a little bit hard, this one, because of the two three centre-backs. Um, and we do need to keep it fairly decent as well. But I'm going to go with Dede. He's going to be one of them entering the team for sure. Uh, in the middle, we're going to go with... This is difficult, actually, because I want to get some decent high... Well, not high-paced. Manuel's going to be another. He will get um, uh, a strong link to Bastos there. And then we could go with a perfect link. But I don't know. I'm, think, I'm thinking... I'm looking at Dante and I'm looking at Marquinhos. But they might be quite expensive. Mauricio looks all right as well. But hopefully... There is some more. So there's Marcello there, 75 pairs. There's Anderson, who's a non-rare. And... I'll tell you who I'm thinking of, guys. I'm thinking of this guy. Now, I'm quickly... Uh, not Rodolfo. It's Mauricio. So, we've got him, him in, in there. And goalkeeper, we are going to go... We can get a decent goalkeeper, actually. Um, I think I'm going to go with Victor in net. Yeah, I'm going to go with Victor in net. So, let's check the price of Victor. Hopefully, not too much. 800 coins. That's a steal. This centre back is the one which I think at 2.6k. Gonna have to replace him straight away. Dede, 1k there or thereabouts. Should be able to get one of him for decent price. The same Manuel, 350. He's pretty cheap as well. Might be able to get someone open bid. Melo, please don't be going for a lot, dude. Please don't be going for a lot. Because this is where we need to save coins. Right, so we might have to replace Melo because Melo, I was hoping to get into the team, but obviously um won't be doing so now. Um I'm trying to think who else. CDM. Like, this is what you guys probably go through when you're building your teams. Alan. Does Alan go for a lot? He might be an interest. If not, I'm going to get... It's either going to be... It's either going to be Alan or Casemiro. So, let's try uh, Casemiro. See, uh, see, no, see how much Alan's going for. Hopefully not too much. He's not going for too much, actually. So, I might be able to pick a, a sniper deal upon him. Um, Kaka. Probably won't be going for that much because of the lack of pace. Not too much either, so we might be able to get a steal on him. And hopefully that leaves enough for power. Um, so guys, I'm going to try and build the cheapest team now. Get it all done, and then hopefully pick up Pato at the end. And this is a team completely done, guys. We managed to pick up uh, Kaka for 900 coins, which I thought was a steal. 3.5 for Pato. I knew it was going to be expensive. 700 coins for Raphael. Bastos we got for 450 on open bid. This one was weird. We kept going for Allen, and ones were being bought out of uh, 1.8 and 1.9. We have picked up one for 1,000 coins. Fernando we paid 1,000 coins for also. Luan paid 700 on open bid. Dede, the centre-back, we got for 950. This guy we got for 2.9. So two of the most expensive players in the team are obviously Obviously, uh, Pato and uh, this guy. And also, um, we paid 450 for Manuel as well. The goalkeeper cost us 750 coins. So, that's a pretty bargain team. We still have... 4,000 coins left, and we're just about to enter the fresh um, division as well. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is completely um, completely build the team up on the bench of the players which I obviously want resting, which are the players which we currently have in the team now, and uh, then we can just alternate between the teams, even though I'm not doing a very good job at this. But let me know what you guys went with your fitness team. The choice uh, I basically went for with this fitness team was mainly due to the fact that... Um, I wanted Brazilians because if you've noticed, guys, Brazilians actually are the key to hybrids uh, because of how many there actually is. Um, and one more spot for that guy. And we need Bal as well. So that should be the full team on the bench there, ready to go, ready to get rested. But we are going to play one more game of it in the next episode. Um, and then, obviously, we will be uh, moving on to this one when this one's fully rested. We've got uh, a few decent contracts on, on that um, Alan as well. Decent contracts on our man Kaká. It was mainly... Um 
Pato and also Raphael, which have got low contracts with five, and also the uh, left hand side centre back. So, guys, that was the build, uh, live build of uh, my fitness team as well. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if not, and check out the Road to Glory as well. I'm surprised that we've actually still got 4,000 coins left, even though we did manage to sell, um, clear a few things out. We've still got two things left on the trade pile, which is obviously Mandanda and Kone. So, dependent on how much they do sell, we'll have a little bit more coin as well, and hopefully, uh, we can get through one more division and then have a crack at draft again and hopefully build on our Brazilian team and also our Liga 1 team. So until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.